Hello, this is uh, Alex Tiki on behalf of PCR Online, providing you the latest news from ESC 2023. Dear friends and PCR companions, it is a great pleasure and honor to welcome Professor Pierre De Aro, Professor and Interventional Cardiologist at the Assistance Publique, Hôpital de Marseille, to talk about uh, the late breaking trial he will present at this ESC 2023. PR versus mitral surgery data from a nationwide analysis. Pierre, thanks so much for the opportunity to discuss this interesting trial. Thank you, Alessandro. I'm very pleased to be today connected with the PCR community, and I thank the PCR online team. So thank you, Alessandro. Really a great pleasure. So we know mitral uh, Transcatheter edge to edge repair has emerged as an alternative to surgical mitral valve repair, especially after the co op trial and with the latest technical and device improvement. So, what is the study design of the analysis you will present? So, which is very important is to understand that this study will be presented during the registry late breaking trial at the ESC. So, it's an observational study, it's a registry that we perform in France from 2012 to 2022 and based on the hospital coding system. So, we're very sure we had all the patients that had been treated since 2012 in France. We compared patients who had a percutaneous repair, a TR versus patient who had a surgery, a mitral surgery. And then what we've done, as it's an observational study, we perform a propensity match analysis to allow a comparison between the TR group and the surgical group. The second objective was to compare in the surgical group, specifically patient with a surgical repair and no replacement of the mitral valve. And a third analysis focused on patient with primary or secondary MR to compare TR versus surgery. That's uh, very important and very interesting uh, to have such a large uh, real world uh, data analysis. So getting in the deep, what are the main clinical and anatomical patients characteristics? So it's a very good question, Alessandro. And as it is um, an, a, a, coding, a coding study, sorry, based on the PMSC database, we don't have any echocardiographic data. So it's just a real world analysis of all patients treated in France since the introduction of TR techniques, so since 2012 in France. And we did compare outcomes of TR versus mitral surgery. So we don't have any echocardiographic uh, data, but we know that we have all patients that have been discussed in our team in France and that's been treated in France. Uh, we have all the clinical data and what we've seen is that obviously patients with a TR are older, are sicker, have more uh, cancer, poor nutrition, etc. than patients treated with mitral surgery. And that's why we perform a propensity match analysis so to allow a comparison between the two groups. And finally, we have uh, in both groups groups 2,160 patients in TR and 2,160 patients in surgical group. And uh, in this population, the mean age is 60, uh, 76 years old, sorry. Very, very interesting. Uh, this, this will be uh, important uh, also uh, because uh, we will see the outcome uh, with the different generation device, uh, with the different, uh, uh, it will be very, very interesting. And what are the main results? Uh, so basically, when you when you decide to do a nationwide analysis, you can analyze only strong outcomes such as this, because it's only the outcomes that will be coded by the hospital when the patient come back. So we, we've been able to analyze this in hospital deaths, which is very common in heart failure. So we're quite sure that it's uh, something we can uh, rely about. We analyze stroke. We analyze pulmonary edema recurring hospitalization because it's systematic coded. We analyze pacemaker endocarditis and bleeding. And uh, when uh, we performed so this propensity match analysis, we've seen that uh, TR was associated in our French population after this matching with lower incidence of cardiovascular death, lower incidence of ischemic stroke, lower incidence of pulmonary edema, major bleeding and endocarditis was when compared to surgery. When we focus on all cause deaths, we did not evidence any particular differences between TR and surgery. 
So this is the main outcomes, and the main outcomes is likely the cardiovascular death lower incidence when you when you go for tier in our population. Then we had secondary outcomes. Um, we analyzed interaction between subgroups and results. And uh, we have two very interesting data. The first one is that this cardiovascular death lower incidence after TR is observed only in patients older than 75 years old. And the second one is that we observe that patient with a Euroscore equal or superior to four as the one who has a lower incidence of cardiovascular death after uh, after TR. And the interaction for both, so for age and Euroscore, were significant. Wow, uh, this is a this is a really really uh, important findings uh, for also future studies. Uh, so. How we can summarize the main message of the study? So I think this study is the largest propensity match analysis of uh, mitral uh, percutaneous repair versus isolated mitral surgery at the moment. We have the largest um, uh, database and largest number of patients published uh, with over 2,000 patients in each arm. It's a real world data, so it's really what happened in France since the introduction of mitral tear. And what we've seen is that despite the limitation due to the observational comparison and observational nature of this study, we've seen that TR is associated with good outcomes when we have uh, the whole TR performed in France. And maybe we have lower incidence of cardiovascular death, edema, atrial fibrillation, pacemaker, and bleeding with TR. But we have to think about it's a study which has been a propensity match analysis. So we're not in a randomized data. So there are limitations and our data are just uh, observations that we need to confirm in randomized data. But what is important to know is that there are randomized data coming comparing surgery and uh, TR at the moment, but it's very difficult to, to enroll patient and the recruitment is very slow. So I think those data are just reassuring about our practice, which is increasing the number of TR. We've seen in France a very large increase years after years, and we are probably pushing the boundaries of TR a little bit more every day, tackling more difficult patients, and as a result, are quite good. And the second message is we still need to focus on elderly patients over 75 years old, probably, and patients at intermediate to high risks with a Euroscore super to equal to four. That's amazing. We can't wait to see the published data. Thanks so much, Pierre. Thanks so much for your kindness. Thank you, Alessandro. I was very pleased to discuss it, and I'm very happy to answer all the questions if you have within the PCR community. Thank <laughs> you.